I travel around the world, one of, one of the things that uh, people most talk about is how busy they are. It's as though we don't have 24 hours anymore in the day. Everyone is busy. Everyone is tired at the end of the day. We're all like a bunch of hamsters running in a wheel. We seem to not be getting anywhere, but we're all out of breath. Um, this has a tremendous and terrible impact on our Christian life. There was a secular psychiatrist, I forget his name, and uh, I don't often quote secular psychiatrists, but he said something like this. There is a saying in English that hurry is of the devil. And he said, no, that's not true. Hurry is the devil. And what he was trying to say was simply that it's one of the things that is most doing damage to the individual, our society, our culture. And I would submit to you it's doing a great deal of damage to the church. There are so many things calling for our attention. And now that we have this explosion of the internet with Twitter and Facebook and websites and such an overload of information, we have less time than ever less time than ever. And because people, now don't be offended, but because people are very egocentric and everyone wants to be a movie star, everyone now has their own Facebook page and their own, their own Twitter account and they're announcing to the world everything that they're doing, everything they are and everything they believe. Now some of that I suppose could be good, but a lot of it's just a waste of time. Now, the question is, since everyone is so busy, what can we do to affect this problem? Well, first of all, we need to realize something. That we are not called by God to do everything. We are called by God to do His will. So, if we're going to order our life, we must know what God's will is, and that is found in the Scriptures. You know, it seems like every question someone has, the answer is always this. Go back into the Scriptures read the Word and find out what He has to say. But the way I handle all of this, because it also affects me, is I set priorities. Hopefully they're not my priorities, but they're God's priority. What is my number one priority every day? Number one priority. I would have to say it is meeting with God. Spending time in the Word and spending time in prayer. Because it impacts my entire life. If I don't do it, I'm disobedient. And if I don't do it, I'm no good to anyone. You know, Martin Luther said, he said one time, he goes, I am so busy today that if I do not pray three hours, I'm never going to get everything done. Now, you see how different his attitude was? We say, we're so busy today, we can't pray. He said he was so busy, he had to pray so that God would give him help and order his day and help him to get everything done. So the first thing is meeting with God in his word and in prayer. The next thing that is important, that is a priority, are the relationships that God has given me. My highest relationship on this planet is with a woman, my wife. I must make sure that I'm fulfilling my duties, relational duties, friendship, communication with my wife. After that, my greatest and most important task as a father, and especially since we homeschool, is to pour my life into my children. Now, obviously, I also have to work. I'm in a, I work in a mission. I have a job that requires, at a minimum, eight hours a day, and usually it's sometimes twice that. And so when I go to work, I work hard. I don't, I don't play around, I don't get in a lot of conversations. I work. Why? In order to get my job done so I can get back to other priorities which are always relational. My relationship with God, my relationship with my family, my relationship with my brothers and sisters in Christ, and then my relationship with people who need Jesus Christ. I think it will really help most people if they would put meeting with God first and then put their relationships, the relationships that God has given them, following that. Then, of course, their work that they must do in order to sustain themselves and their family. 
And if there's no time left, then, ins then instead of cutting out time with God, cut out your Facebook, cut out your Twitter account, cut out being on the web all the time, or on the telephone all the time, or texting all the time. Those things simply are not necessary. They simply are not. Here's something that I would like you to think about. God created us for a relationship, a relationship with Him, but also horizontal relationships, relationships with others. On the day that I am about to die and I'm laying on my deathbed, I will have many regrets if I have neglected the relationships that God has given me, especially with family brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't think I'm going to be very, very sad if I was not able to do Twitter or was not able to maintain a Facebook page. Get your priorities together and you'll not have much problem with time.